Hi mga kalagan! Ako sa Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Subo Pageantry All Access. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Subo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Miss Cebu 2024 candidate number 9. We have Miss Zoe Cameron. Hi! Hi Zoe! How Hello. are you? I'm feeling just so amazing right now and mm -hmm. I'm so excited because I know Sir Fritz that we've been trying to get our interview <laughs> for so long. Finally! Finally! Today is the day yes. and I'm just really looking forward to what the questions are gonna be and what we're gonna talk about, what we're gonna chika about. Oh, the <laughs> Now, I would like to ask Zoe, how was the competition so far with Miss Cebu 2024? The competition has been really just a crazy ride. Mm -hmm. It's been such a hectic schedule, but you know what? It it was also a really fulfilling experience because we got to meet so many people. The workshops have been so um, informative and educational, and I'm just really trying to enjoy each step because this is such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a Cebuana like myself. Ah, uh, <laughs> The first segment that you will be having is the boiling question. Okay. But the question is, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so there are uh, questions here in front of us. I want you to pick one first and give it to me. Go ahead. Okay, let me shake. Ah. Let's <laughs> shake like, uh, wine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. This one. Let's All go. right. Your first boiling question is, being a Miss Cebu queen is glamorous and exciting, but it's also hard work. What strengths would you bring to the role? Yes, Sir Fritz, I agree that it is such a daunting role mm -hmm. because as a Miss Cebu, you are given a platform, you are given this influence and that has so much responsibility. But I think for me, my strength would be that I am very compassionate and I can sympathize with people. I can sympathize with people. I understand that everyone has their own experiences, has their own struggles that they're going through. And I know that I can use that to my advantage by, you know, just really letting them understand that I get what they're going through, that they're not alone in this world. I think that is the true power of a Miss Cebu. And not just Miss Cebu, but beauty queens all around the world. They are like a beacon of hope or inspiration that people can look up to in times of crisis or in their lowest points of life. Oh, you're yeah. always there for them, Baga. Yes. Okay, yes. pick your next boiling question. Okay. All right. <laughs> your next boiling question is, mm, this is interesting. What comes to your mind when you say Cebuana and why? The first thing that comes to mind is being hospitable. hospitable. And I know that it is commonly associated with being Cebuana, but for me, it carries a much deeper meaning. It's mm -hmm. something that's often overlooked because it's not easy to be hospitable. You have to be able to accommodate a wide array of cultures. You need to know what will not offend them. You need to know how to keep them entertained. And as Cebuanas, we've, it's something innate in us. It's something that we've been doing naturally. And we are such good hosts, especially to our sister cities. Ooh. Yes, and I think it's <laughs> also due to the fact na, that while we were young, in our households, we were already being trained to be respectful to our guests. And I think it also comes from our deep and immense pride for Cebu. And I think, yeah, let's face it, because Cebu is world class and it Absolutely. deserves to be felt, heard, and seen by the world. Absolutely. Yes. Cebuana is hospitable. Yes. Right? Okay, pick your next boiling question. Okay. It's getting more interesting. All right. Your next boiling question is, how will you promote Cebu City to the world? If I were given the chance, mm -hmm. and as a Miss Cebu, I would promote the three P's of Cebu, which would be the places. We have the heritage sites, we have the coastal urban areas, and also the highlands. Mm -hmm. I would promote each one of those because they are sites that are definitely worth seeing. And also, I would promote our products. Yes. We have 
such delicious cuisine we have you know natural resources we have all of those things as even um, manufactured goods we can offer that to the world and lastly our people we have um, our workers in the BPO industry and we mm -hmm. also have creative talents our fashion designers our artists local talents of Cebu especially those in the struggling communities that deserve to have that spotlight if given the chance I would be a champion of all this not only during special occasions like festivals or events but I'll be a champion of our culture, our heritage, and the Cebuana identity in every single aspect of my life. Absolutely. Yes. Place, the yes. bar, Place, the people, and, and the, the products. products. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, pick your last but not the least boiling question. Okay. Oh. This is difficult too. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Your last but not the least boiling question is, Share your advocacy and how Miss Cebu organization will help you with this. I am strongly passionate and I strongly advocate for youth empowerment mm -hmm. through sports, education, and volunteerism. The reason for being so is because I'm the eldest child and I've been working closely with the girls town or sisters of mary school at talisay yes I've, okay. I've known them ever since i started playing basketball with them but ever since i've developed some this sort of sisterhood with them because you know i really i really really sympathize with them and i really feel bad because although they're blessed they're by the sisters they're being guided they're being taught all these amazing skills but you know there's always that feeling of being homesick and most of the time they're not given that guidance or they don't have that parental figure or guardian to teach them these certain things in life so for me that's why i took up this advocacy mm -hmm. to hopefully empower them and to educate them about these skills that you know it can only be taught by certain parental figures or ates or kuyas and i think that the miss Cebu organization if given the chance it would really really be such a powerful and influential platform that i could use to change as many lives as i can i have i'm so excited because i have so many plans already lined up ah. yes i have so many programs activities not only in my main beneficiaries which is the girls at, over at girls town sisters of mary but mm -hmm. also all the kids all around cebu i have so many plans lined up for them and i think that miss cebu will be able to help me further that even more to greater heights. Oh, yes. Nakaplan na pala lahat. Yes, everything. Amazing. <laughs> so, good thing no may existing advocacy in ka na rin. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> now, before we proceed with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to thank Cebu Centry Plaza Hotel. Thank you very much for the accommodation. Timplora Dermatologica for always making me fresh because I am Timplora Touch. And I would like to personally thank also Desire by Salon Expert for making my hair beautiful thank you very much now let's lighten up let's loosen up because our next segment is the fast talk Ooh, Ooh. Excited. one minute lang to, huh? okay. are you ready yes okay fast talk hot or cold cold oh hindi ka ba no i'm not no cell phone no internet no cell phone walang tulog walang kain walang kain favorite pastime my favorite pastime would be to read. Island life or city life? Island life. Beauty or brain? Brain. Travel or books? Travel. Sweet or spicy? Sweet. YouTube or Netflix? Netflix. Fruits or vegetables? Fruits. Hashtag ng buhay mo. Hashtag Sukol. Hashtag Sukol. <laughs> Lalaban tayo. Yes, no laban. Ah, oh, why not? Can you please invite our Logan to Cebu viewers yeah. where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Miss Cebu 2024. Go ahead. Hello to our, all of our Logan to Cebu viewers. I'm inviting you all to please, you know, follow me on my social media accounts, which is Zoe Cameron. I have a Facebook page and also a personal account on Facebook, as well as Zozo Cameron at Instagram. So you can check me out there. And we're also um, inviting you all to watch us at the Waterfront Hotel and Casino this January 17th for our coronation night. See you there. <laughs> all right. Once again, makalagan our Miss Cebu 2024 candidate number nine, we have Miss. Zoe Cameron. 
thank you very much for guesting here at Alagan thank sa Subo. Thank you so much, Sir Fritz. It's such an honor. Oh, it's an honor to have you. And also, good luck for your upcoming competition. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And also, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Alagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Alagan sa Subo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz saying, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan sa Subo, pageantry all access. access.